On Facebook, the messages pour in. Sad loss, beautiful soul, condolences to the family. What a loss for the world. How much you deserve to live every dream and die old, happy. The world is broken. I'm so, so, so sorry. Joanne Niepen was the oldest of three brothers and one sister. Described by those who knew her as a hard-working woman and a role model, Niepen also danced powwow and was a marathon runner. The 42-year-old was found badly beaten at Four Crowns Inn last month. She later died of those injuries. Her auntie is still in shock. We hear stories of uh, murdered women and you never expect it to happen to you. Neepin sometimes stayed at the Four Crowns Inn for a few days at a time. The inn's owner, Ravi Rambaran, says on October 27th, Neepin didn't leave at checkout time after staying for a few days. Me and my front desk staff went upstairs to make sure everything was okay. Sure enough, she was very beaten up. When we saw the condition she was in, I made the decision to call the police, call 911, because she was beaten up. Half her face was just bruised and puffed up, like she was hit with something. Um, I don't know, baseball bat or even curb stomped, I don't know. Rambran says Neepin told him she was attacked at another location, but didn't say where. She did not want to talk to the police. She didn't want to talk to anybody about it. She refused their help. She didn't want me to call. He says Neepin was taken away by an ambulance, but about 24 hours later, she came back to stay another night. She was coherent. I didn't think she was going to pass away. She was in the same condition, but woozy and in and out of being coherent at that point. Rambaran called 911 twice. When she came here, she refused ambulance help. The ambulance took off. When we learned of that, we called them again. They said, no, you guys need to help this lady out. And so they ended up taking her. And, and uh, that's the last we've seen her or heard from her. On November 7th, nearly two weeks later, Neepin died in hospital from her injuries. Winnipeg police say... We can confirm that the WPS is investigating the death of Joanne Neepin. At this time, we are unable to confirm that the death is a homicide. The investigation is presently assigned to the Major Crimes Unit. When I saw that woman, all those things became very real to me. Rambaran says his staff is shaken by the woman's death. It affects us, even though it didn't happen here. But I really hope that they find this guy, whoever did this. this is, that, that's one of the worst I've seen. He says it really puts issues like missing and murdered Indigenous women and domestic violence into perspective for him. Joanne was loved beyond justice. If somebody witnessed anything, please contact the police and let them know. Any minor detail, we need answers. The owner of Four Crowns has been in touch with family and says he's going to host a fundraising awareness event with money raised to go to the family. Shanine Robinson-Dejarlis, APTN National News, Winnipeg.